Hello everyone, today we are going to implement a small application where we want to have an error in the middle and every time we go here around with our tab position, the error position should also change and that's what we're going to implement today. So first of all I created here two widgets, an error screen where we have our normal screen and then the error widget itself and we start with the error screen which we put also into our main file and import it here. And we also want to have for our error screen a state, therefore we are converting it here to a state for widget. And here we load the error image which I have saved here. So we have here an error and that's what we are going to load into our variable here. And in our build function we want to check if our image is already loaded. And if it's not loaded we just want to display a container. But if it's loaded then we place our custom painter inside. And here we have a foreground painter and here we pass our arrow painter inside. So I renamed it to arrow painter and we also set here the variable arrow image to image. So we want to pass the image which we load here and I also need to import it here. We also want to set a shy property where we just say container for now. And then we go to our arrow painter and here we create the variable image arrow image. And the image itself is from UI type, so we have here different kind of type. We don't take it from the material import, we take it from the Dart import here. And the error painter itself gets this available space here, so it gets everything. And we want to get first of all the center point here. So we go here and write something like final offset center and size center and here offset zero. So we get the center position of our screen. And now we want first of all to draw here a rect. So we just make another method where we pass our canvas, our offset with the center position. And here we create a draw rect method, which we call two times. The first one we want to fill completely. So we say here our style that we want to fill our container box and we set it to the color of red. And for the second one, we just want to draw the border. Therefore, we go here with stroke and set a stroke width to 4.0. And we also need here the image size. So we will go here at the top and write image size to 75, for example. And then we have this rectangle here. So again, this is the first rect, which is the inner thing, so the red thing. And this here is the outer border. And here we have a canvas method which we call both times and here we just say draw rect and then we want to go from our center position and go minus the image size itself like how big this box should be. We do it here minus and minus and the second point is this point here and it's like if we go from the center position with the center image size which is like the half size of our container here. The next thing we want to do is to draw an arrow. So we go here again and pass some information which we want to have here. So here we go with the center position so that we want to align our arrow at the center. And for the y coordinate we say here minus image size divided by 2 so that we are more aligned to the y axis center. And we also need to change here the offset x and um, y a little bit so that it is more aligned to the center because the image itself is a little bit bigger so we have to align it a little bit. So I figured out we have to go with maybe an offset of minus 4 for x and 16 for the y coordinate. And the next thing is we want to translate our canvas to the center point here. Then we want to rotate our canvas and then we translate it back so that the rotation is really around the center and then we just draw our arrow here. So we can change here for example the P. So if we go with P we are ended here. If we go with zero we end up here to the right direction. Now that our rotation works around the center point with our arrow here we want to go to our arrow screen and here we want to wrap our custom paint with a gesture detector. For our gesture detector we implement the on pen start and on pen update method. So we'd call for both of these methods the update point method. 
So what we here get is the global position, so where we currently drag around and we want to convert it to our local position. And then we want to set the pointer offset, which we have to create here as a variable. So we create here our pointer offset variable, which is initialized to offset zero, which is this location here. And we want to pass this variable then inside of our arrow painter. So we go here with pointer offset and pointer offset and create here another offset. And then we go to our draw arrow method and we get here the pointer offset, which we dragged around. And we also have the center arrow position and we want to have the angel between this position where we drag currently around and the center position. So let's import here the math library and we set the angel here instead of zero to our new angel. And if we hot restart it, it starts here to this direction because if we go back, we see we have here the offset zero position specified. So in the beginning we start here, but now if we drag here around, nothing will work because here for our child widget, we need to specify that we actually can here tap around. So we need to specify here the size or we just go here with color and then colors transparent, for example. And then we hot reload our application and now we can turn here around and change the position. And we also change here the order when our arrow is drawn. So first of all, we draw the arrow and then the rack. If we hot restart it right now, it looks like this. And also we change the container position. So it will always retain with us here, which is pretty cool if you want it. If you don't want it, we can also change it here. So we go here to our draw arrow method and then we just say here save before we start our rotation and after everything we say we want to restore it and restart our application only the arrow will change and the container itself in the middle will keep its position. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter and see you soon, bye!